heard a poem and it's about a fish who has a seven second memory and we humans have a past and future memory for a very very long time yeah i remember being in the place that i loved where i felt safe in the lab and i was there with my friends and we were complaining about having to do the prep again for our professor but we did we weren't really complaining we loved it we loved every minute of it and i felt like I belonged, that that was where my family were, where I had a place where I was someone. It's been, it's been a long time since I was there, but yet every second of every day, I'm always in that room. I just, I just want to get out of that room. My life has never been, never been, never been right since that day. This, just those seven, eight seconds has changed everything in my life. It's changed my ambitions in life, it's changed the way I see things, it's changed. It's changed me as a person. The way I see things, the way I do things, and what I want. It should have passed by now. It's been that long. But I can always hear the sound. What, what do I do? I thought I'd lost it. It's mine. Mum, it's me, Kevin. You know Kevin? I miss him. I miss him so much. I miss him. I miss him. She needs time. It's my fault. Look, Kevin, just be there for her. How's Lorna? I haven't seen her for a while. Oh, she's all right. Any day now. Wow. Yeah. Thank you, thanks. Thank you for coming. No problem. It was very enjoyable. <laughs> I read your article on uh, domestic violence. I thought it was excellent. Oh, uh, thank you, really? I hear the article has been nominated for several accolades, hasn't it? Yeah, but I don't really care about those things. No. You should be proud. 
It shows people appreciate your work. Look at me, I've been in biology 20 years. I have nothing. Not many of us achieve anything. Oh, I need to be going. Uh, thank you for the invitation. Well, thank you for your time. Get in late. Are you getting picked up? I don't want a taxi. No, I have my own car. Thank you. Goodbye. Still worried about Jane? <sighs> yeah. She's getting worse. She didn't even recognise me. It's not your fault. You were so young at the time. Oh, yeah. I know what you're worried about, but we will always be together. Why didn't you answer any of my calls? I've been trying to call you all night. Because I didn't want to. Let me go, George. I have nothing to say to you. Wait, but Penny, I, I know I'm fucked up, but I'm, I'm sorry. I love you. You love me. Sounds ridiculous, George. You married me because I looked like her. But you've changed me. Penny, I've changed. No. I don't believe you now. You're a liar. Everything you have done is for yourself. Look, Penny. I, I love you. You ruined my life. We are done. It can be quite difficult. I find it easy to forget if I'm busy, if I keep myself busy. So as a journalist, I work many hours and I try to stay at work as, as long as possible. But while I'm not at work, it's constantly on my mind. How's my wife? I'm sorry, your wife hasn't delivered yet. Um, there's some complications. As her husband, we'd like you to sign some paperwork before we do anything further. This is the document. I can't, I can't lose anyone. Yeah, I know it is about what course of action you want us to take in the ones for the serious complications. Why do you want to uh, save your wife or your baby first? I, I can't choose. I can't lose my wife or my baby. Can, can you help me please, Doctor? 
Yeah, I can. Help me. I can understand, but we will try our best. But you still need to be prepared for any potentially bad result. I'm so sorry. Kevin, it's time to make a decision. 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 It's been years and years. I'm still in that room. I can hear this sound. I don't know how many times the sound is. Maybe seven, maybe eight. When I was so small, so helpless. I'm just there, in that stupid room. My head hurts. Dr. Smith, again. Yes, I came back here after the interview. Right, it's time we were checking the results for today. Where's Kevin? It's his turn to check today. He's not here. I guess he's on the way though. Late, again. Right, Lucy, you can check results for today. And the rest of you start preparing for today's work. No, this this is fine. If you just take your time with that, but this is the area that you need to be careful of. Watch okay. that. But if you cover with this, you'll be fine. All right. Mm. Dr. Smith? How is it? Um, the results have come back negative again. Right. Thank you. That's fine. You can uh, join the others. Thank you. I could just find a way, find a way out of it. There is just nothing left in me for this anymore. I've given everything. There isn't, there isn't anything left. And I need it to end. I really need it to be over, to be finished. I'm done with it. It's done with me. I just want out. I just want it finished. I just want it to end. Dude! Where are you? I'm at the hospital now. What happened? Lana's in labour. She's not good. Dr. Smith? Bob? Dr. What? Smith? Uh, help! Dr. Smith? Dr. Smith? If you were a fish and you had a seven second memory, what would you want to keep forever for the seven second memory and how would you feel? Well, to be honest, yeah, a seven second memory might have helped me get through this life that I've led because I'd have been coming to each moment afresh thinking, yeah, this time I'm going to achieve something. This time the test results are going to be right. And I would have that feeling, that constant feeling of hope coming back to me. So yeah, that would be a really good thing in my life. 
Um, if I had a seven, second memory, I would want to remember that my fam about my family and how much I love them and like where I've been. <laughs>